Hey, this is Mike, the Backyard Pioneer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's a companion channel to my blog, which you can find at www.thebackyardpioneer.com. Today finds me out in the backyard of all places, and we're working on something, goal of mine that I set. I want to finally bake a loaf of bread in a Dutch oven. Um, using my basic red recipe, which you can find on my blog. Uh, right now, I'm just duck preheating the Dutch oven. Um, mine's a 14 inch, uh, it's Camp Chef. Uh, new, it's, it's not any old hand-me-down from family generations past but it gets the job done. Um, I have 14 coals underneath, arranged in a ring. Uh, I'd show it to you, but the pot is kind of heavy, and I got about 20 coals on top, maybe a little more, I'd have to count. Uh, probably closer to 25. Hopefully this will let me achieve my good 400 to 450 degrees that I, I want to get. Um, the bread's in its final proof right now, uh, so I'll let this go for about another 10 minutes or so. Um, as you can see, I have my chimney over there, uh, so I have a couple extra coals heated up. I can use them to start more coals if I feel I need it. Uh, you, you may have noticed when I do my Kamado, I use a, a true lump charcoal. Um, you, with the Kamado, you, you can get a little bit of taste if you use briquettes. So, but for something like this, where the briquettes with smoke isn't going to come in contact, or I'm not trying to flavor anything, I don't mind using the Kingsford brand. Uh, is that easy? Uh, let's face it. I don't know if you've used a chimney before. It's really the way to go. I have a, everyone remembers their dad in the backyard in the 70s and 80s dousing everything in lighter fluid and who hasn't had those burgers or hot dogs that taste like lighter fluid but the, the chimney is really the way to go it eliminates all that uh, so there you have it I'm gonna be going inside to get my bread and my parchment paper and uh, we'll get that in there and uh, tune back in a couple of minutes and uh, we'll see how we go thanks for tuning in hold on all right I'm back and we're ready for the second phase of this um, Roll my little handy little dandy little strand reel out. They're a great thing to grab if you see a lineman coming handy out inside. <sighs> Good for our garden tables and stuff like this. So we're going to go ahead and lift off our uh, the cover, our preheated cover. I like to try to be a little careful, not knock too much of the charcoal stuff around. Stick my hand in there. It's nice and hot. This uh, I pre pre-oiled the inside of my Dutch oven. Um, I'm gonna put my bread inside on parchment paper and all. Sorry if I'm a little quick here, I don't want to let too much heat out. I'm gonna drop that in right into the middle. Tuck it down a little bit. It's important with bread to give it a good cut. I'm gonna use my Spyderco Endura 4 full flat grind. Don't worry folks, I cleaned it inside. I like to give a couple of slashes. You're gonna to wanna to let any escaping gases out. Hurry up, put the lid back on. There we go, I've got a good seal on that. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here and I'm going to rotate the lid every 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure how it's doing, see if I need to add any more coals or rearrange them. Um, I have the chimney going so I can get a few more going as need be. Uh, and there you go. I'm, I'm hoping this is a really good little exercise in self-sufficiency and self-reliance and preparedness. I think being able to make a loaf of bread with just some stuff you have lying around the house is great, you know, instead of getting caught up in those lines that we seem to get every time we get a blizzard or a hurricane coming, especially after Irene, Sandy, and Nemo, people seem to take this stuff seriously and at least the stores are sold out three days before instead of the day of. But I don't want to say the jokes on them, but if, if you can taste some home-baked bread, it blows away anything you buy in the store. and, and uh, for me personally, at least, being able to make it when the weather is cold or inclement and stuff like that, it, it's just it, it's a good feeling. And my wife enjoys it, my son enjoys it, and it's also something I just like to do as a hobby, and, and it's always good to learn good skills. Uh, so there you have it. We'll be back probably about 30, 45 minutes. So I'm going to keep a good eye on this. I'm going to do it with a thermometer. I'm going to take it out when it hits 190 inside. Being this is my first time, I don't want to eyeball anything too much. Um, so I'm not going to film that part. I'm going to come back when I'm taking it out. Uh, I, mean, I guess I could keep it on. Nah, we're not. We're gonna, we're, that's what we're going to do. Um, I don't know how much running around and stuff I'm going to have to do with this. So take care. Thank you. Hey, it's Mike. I'm back. Um, Fred's been in for about an hour. It's taken a little bit longer than I anticipated. Um, had to have the chimney going. It's been rotating the coals, keeping good hot coals on top the whole time. I'd say we're probably looking at it. 
I just snuck a peek. I'm guessing about probably about another 15 minutes or so. Um, it's just starting to turn a little bit of a golden color. Uh, those nice deep slashes I put in are opening up quite nicely. It's going to be an attractive loaf. Pretty happy about that. Um, so I'm going to be futzing around with it. Uh, pretty intensive, I guess. You know, every 15 minutes been out here, giving the uh, pot a quarter turn and then also turning the lid a quarter turn, trying to keep that heat nice and even. Um, I think I'm going to be rewarded with a decent loaf of bread, keeping my fingers crossed. Uh, like I said, this is my first time doing it. And I'll uh, keep you keep informed. Hopefully uh, I end up with something decent. This is Sunday dinner. I'd hate to be that guy who ruined Sunday dinner, uh, especially since my wife's roasting the chicken and she does a pretty good job with that. So we'll be back in probably about 15 minutes, half an hour, and hopefully I got something uh, good to show. But either way, you'll definitely see it if it's a bust because uh, I don't want to hide anything when it comes to that. Okay, so take care. All right, I just popped this bad boy open. I'm right at the temperature I like. Sorry, I'm gonna be rushing this a little bit. Never had to get one of these out of here. Um, let's see what we got. Gonna, let's try lifting the parchment paper. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. And there you have it. Came out, pulled it out right at 200 degrees. Um, took right around, I'm gonna say about an hour and 20 minutes or so. Um, I'm going to let it cool for about a half an hour before we do any cutting on it. Um, and I'll let you know how it goes. I'm going to get a couple pictures of it. And uh, thank you for uh, tuning in. Um, you can check me out on all my social media, which you can find at www.backyardpioneer.com. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty proud of how this came out. Um, I'm sure it's going to taste good. Um, thank you very much. Talk to you soon.